हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय न्यू वीडियो इट विल बी बेस्ड ऑन बफर सॉल्यूशन एंड वीक पॉलीप्रोटिक एसिड सो बेसिकली व्हाट इज अ बफर सॉल्यूशन अ बफर सॉल्यूशन इज अ सॉल्यूशन इन व्हिच पीएच रिमेंस कांस्टेंट इन स्मॉल चेंजेस ऑन एसिड एंड अ सॉल्ट वी कैन से और अ बेस एंड अ सॉल्ट आई विल प्रूव यू हाउ इट हैपेंस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी मस्ट लर्न द डेफिनेशंस सो व्हाट इज व्हाट इज एन एसिडिक बफर एन एसिडिक बफर इज दैट इन व्हिच वी हैव एन एसिड and its conjugate base see example acid is this and conjugate base is ch3co minus so this is an acidic buffer if i take dilute h2so4 and hso4 minus 1 this is a buffer this is a buffer but what is not a buffer okay if i got hcl and cl minus now this thing is not a buffer why because it is a strong acid so you must learn that what is a buffer and what is not a buffer this is not a buffer because it has a strong acid in it here i am taking dilute so it is a weak acid okay now next condition can be if i take h2so4 and so4 minus 2 that is first i am forming hso4 minus then i am forming so4 minus 2 so this is also not a buffer why because i am removing two protons that is 2h plus so i have to remove only one that is this is a buffer and this is not a buffer okay so this is the major difference now what can be a basic buffer like you can say nh3 and nh4 plus that is i am getting a base this is a base and this is its conjugate acid okay so now let me prove that how the ph remains constant and how to prove that what is the formula for the ph of a buffer solution so let's begin if i have this buffer ch3 coh ch3 co minus this is an acidic buffer okay so let me write the equations in the initial question we are given that for the concentration is this and for it the concentration is c2 number of moles initially are a number of moles initially are b so how to begin first of all always write the basic equation that is the acid goes into conjugate base plus h plus at time t is equal to 0 i have the concentration of coh to be c2 the concentration of co minus to be c1 okay further i dissociate x from it so c2 minus x now x goes from here to here so it will be c1 plus x and this will be x so let me write the ka so ka will be c1 plus x into x upon c2 minus x this is the ka that i am getting we can ignore x as always so it will be c1x upon c2 so this is the ka that we are getting we have to get the ph now i take um, log on both sides then log of ka is equal to log of c1 by c2 plus log of, log of x now what i do i multiply with the minus sign in both sides minus 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 c minus log of something is always p so it will be p k p k a p k a so it will be leave it as such only log of c1 upon c2 okay and minus log of x x was h plus so it will be ph so i have to derive the formula for ph so the ph will be pka plus log of c1 by c2 okay now pk is known ph is known c1 c2 are given so we can get any of the variables that is asked for example if this is given this is given this is also given we need c2 so we can find that now we can replace the further formula by what is c1 so further we can replace it to be plus log of c carefully now c1 c1 was salts concentration that is cs cs3co minus so i can replace it by concentration of salt upon c2 was concentration of acid so i can write concentration of acid so this is another formula that we can get 
Another formula can be, see, I have a container in which I am doing this reaction. The volume of the container will be fixed, that is V. So in the same container, this will also occupy, means you can say the net volume will be V. So the volume will remain same for both the ions, means that for the acid also it will remain same and for the salt also it will remain same. Why? Because they are in the same container. Okay. So I can write pH to be pKa plus log of what is concentration of salt that is moles upon volume moles of salt was A so the concentration will be A by V upon what is the concentration of acid that is B means that is C2 actually but I can write that as B by V so I can cancel V and V thus pH is equal to pKa plus log of A by B so we can directly deal in moles also okay so this was pH calculation for an acidic buffer in the basic buffer you have to not you have to do the same things just replace pH by a pOH and we'll get pKb here plus log of C1 that is salt upon base this is for the basic buffer so these are the basic things so this is a buffer now you can do the question that was asked in J uh, I think in those 2013 now next topic what is a weak polyprotic acid basically weak polyprotic acid let me take an example only to show how to do the calculations in it so example H2S okay so dissociate it we have to dissociate it multiple times it is a weak polyprotic acid so how many protons will be there we have two protons here so it will dissociate two times so let's dissociate it the first time so it will be H plus plus HS minus next time when we will dissociate it so HS minus will go into H plus plus S minus 2 initially the data given is uh, I can say the concentration was like C1 uh, the Ka for this reaction is Ka1 the Ka for reaction is this Ka2 so at time t is equal to 0 I can write it to be C1 at time t is equal to t I can write it as C1 minus x x x so I've got the equation for the first one now let me write for the second one at when this reaction starts the concentration of Hs will be x see first the reaction will go here then this reaction will start okay at time t is equal to t, let me dissociate y from it. So x minus y, y, y. So I've got the equation for the second. Now let me write. Now see what is the major fact here that you have to understand. These, this reaction, this whole reaction is happening in the same container. Thus we must have equal amount of H plus in, the, in both the sides. Okay. So here we have to add plus y. Here we have to add plus x. Now we can see we have the same amount because it is happening in the same container so moles must remain same that is the major point that you have to understand okay so next thing it will be uh, ka1 is equal to x plus y into x by c1 minus x i can ignore x from here and ka2 will be x plus y into y upon x minus y so I can ignore y from here, I can ignore y from here, I can ignore y from here because it is very less with respect to x. So Ka1 will be x square upon c1, Ka2 will be you can say y, it will be y, see x will also cancel out. Okay, so this is how we have to find the things or you can say the pH. Now how to find the pH, x will be under root c1 Ka, y is equal to Ka2. So what is the net H plus concentration? That is X plus Y. So under root C1 Ka plus Ka2. So this is H plus concentration. Taking minus log on both the sides, I shall get the respective pH for this solution. Now what is the point I want to teach you here is that whenever a weak polyprotic acid is given, for example, if I am given H3PO4, I have to dissociate it three times. Okay. 
like I have two here, so I have to distribute it two times. But if they ask H2S oblique HS minus H2S oblique HS minus or you can say H2S into S minus 2 H2S HS minus H2S S minus 2 so if I ask which is a buffer solution okay so the buffer solution will be this one buffer this is acidic buffer actually and this will not be a buffer not a buffer why because we have to take just one proton outside from it that is we have to form HS minus so I hope this video helps in buffer solutions and best of luck if any doubts are there you can ask me in the comments thank you